All right, once again, we have this B with a power of 1, but it was a phantom 1, so we're just going to show it so we can distribute the 10. Oh, the 4 has a power of 1 as well. So we'll distribute the 10 into each of the exponents, whether it's in the numerator or denominator. So that would be 4 to the power of 10, A to the power of 30, B to the power of 30, all over A to the power of 50, B to the power of 10. Do we have to do that before we... No, 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 I'll show you the other way as well. I'm not going to evaluate 4 to the power of 10 because it's going to be a huge number. But you may if you'd like. So that would be 4 to the power of 10. A to the power of 30 minus 50 would give us A to the power of negative 20. So I'm just going to put it in the denominator. And then B to the power of 30 minus 10 would be B to the power of 20, which would have remained positive. So... This is my final answer. Now the other way to do it, so that's a good question here, is we could simplify this without distributing first. So in other words, we would have the parentheses still to the power of 10. We've got 4. Well, I guess I can get rid of that too. Whoops. Then I've got a to the power of 3 minus 5, and b to the power of 3 minus 1. So this would be 4, a to the power of negative 2, b to the power of 2, and all of this to the power of 10. So uh, the negative 2 for the power of a just gives us a fraction there. So we've got 4 over a squared and this is b squared to the power of 10. Now when we distribute the 10 we get the same answer as we have here. That is two ways to do it. I hope that helps. Doesn't matter which order you do it in this in this case either. So. Yeah that's a good point. Uh, 4 to the power of 10 is not 40 because it's not 4 times 10 it's 4 times itself 10 times which would be 1,048,576. And that is a number so big that I don't even want to write it. So if that is what you want to write, try not to because grading that's harder. By the way, doing it this way that we did the second time, that is technically the way that you should do it because of the order of operations, but it doesn't matter because of the law of exponents allows us to do it the first way as well.